<laughs> hey, we're gonna start the video today. Um, so Ash, get in here. <laughs> so <laughs> this little munchkin is gonna go get her hair done today, and I did. Yeah, she's gonna cut it. How long? Like maybe like to there. <laughs> she wants a lot cut off. Do you think we could cut off this much? No. Not like that whole <laughs> clip of hair. I want to cut it this long. Yeah, short. but then your hair is not long. Like, I don't want it short. I'm just gonna see what, like, oh yeah, mom cuts how short there is. I don't know about how short. I don't know. But I'm gonna see the paper. We'll see you, or Ashley will see you at the hair place. Chelsea. All right, kiddo, are you sure you're ready to get your hair cut off? Yeah, I don't know how much I'm just gonna look on the paper. How much I want to cut off. I don't really know what she means by look on the paper. A ruler? No. Yeah, like, All I right. don't know how. I think mommy will help decide how much you're cutting off. I don't so know. So we'll go, okay? I don't know how much I want to I know, she I wants like... to chop it, but we'll see. Okay, here's the before. All right, one more before, before we cut it all off, right, Boo? Yeah. Okay. Do you like it? Do you like it? Yeah. yeah? It's short. It is short. And you wanted to go shorter. Yeah. Yeah? And you like it? Okay. And here's the new haircut. Do you like it? Yeah. Shake it out. Is it nice and short for you? Yeah. All right. And it feels nice. So you like it? Yeah. All right, kind of have a change of plans. Kind of have an emergency situation going on here. Yeah, um, no, yeah, we need, no, we don't need the ladder. Okay. Um, no, I can lower it down. Okay. All right, so Abby's here helping me. We just found out that my sister, she is on a road trip and she's literally circling right around me here in Washington. Um, stayed over in Yakima yesterday. They're down at Mount Rainier National Park today, moving over to Puyallup. And then they're heading out to the Olympic National Forest to do forks and all that kind of stuff, rainforest and all that kind of stuff. And I didn't want to really film myself today because my face, I think I got bit by a mosquito and I don't even know what that one is that's been there for weeks. Um, anyway, their 12 passenger van just broke down. My sister has her five kids and her friend has two kids and they are stuck at the visitor center at the Rainier National Park. And they don't have any way of continuing their vacation. We've been on the phone for the past half hour trying to find them a van to rent. Their tow truck won't come and get their van until tomorrow. It's kind of a mess. So I'm gonna put my luggage rack. Where is my luggage rack? It is right over there, right up there. We we're gonna put that back in the car. We just barely took it off two days ago. And we're gonna go try and help her. I have a friend, I need, here you hold this, Abby. No, you gotta hold it right here because the light's better right here. Okay. So I have a friend who, oh, I don't have the leverage. I gotta pull the ladder over here. Oh, oh that goes up. All right, there we go. All right, so we're gonna borrow a second car and Jason and I are going to drive down and pick him up from the National Park. I gotta go print out my fourth grade park pass. I'm gonna start using that a summer early in order to get into the park. And we're still trying to find a 12 passenger van for them to rent to either continue down on their vacation or at least get them home. So we're gonna go and get this car top put on and wait for Jason to get home and then we're gonna go. So change of plans today. All right, we thought we were gonna have good news for about two minutes and their car was working and they had um, members of our church actually who stopped to try and help them they think it's the alternator 
um, and they were gonna try and just drive the car to a mechanic because um, it'll die as soon as you turn it off um, but then it just died so it might not be that so we are on the road Jason came home from work and we're gonna drive down it's probably like a two-hour drive um, and now they don't have a visitor center to be at and so I just feel bad Got six kids seven kids sitting outside luckily it's not super hot but I just feel bad so we're gonna rush down and go and try and save them we did get a rental car for them at the airport in Seattle so we got to bring them back up here to the airport and get that van for them and then kind of go from there not really sure what they're gonna do at that point she's waiting to hear back from her insurance for the car to see what they can do going forward so we're just gonna work on it from that point on all right we've got both cars Jason's back behind me we're having to fight traffic it is six o'clock at night and we are going on one of the busiest side highways on our side of town so I'm hoping we can get onto better traffic get into better traffic and not have it slow us down uh, it'll be a miracle so here's to hoping while we for the moment to pass I want it to start now start now I want this feeling to last keep it alive now right now it's been too long So we pulled off because we wanted to make sure we were on the right way and then we saw this guy. It's an elk. Beautiful. Oh, that's cool. Alright, so we're going to do a quick view really quick. And then we got it. We're like a half a mile away from we'll my sister. See the mountain up here. Yeah. So beautiful up here. You just stopped down there for a second to look at an elk. Oh, we so anyway, hi again, my life, thank you. Josie. <laughs> hi, sweetheart. You have no idea who I am, but I'm really nervous about you being right there. <laughs> Come up here. Hi, Mia. You didn't think you would see me again. Hi, Remy. Are you so happy? Is that pee or, or lemonade? Lemonade. <laughs> All right. Good thing. There's Andy and her friend Rachel. Oh, there's a car coming, but I've never seen Rainier up front, so. Jason is wanting to make sure I go and see it really quick. All right, there it is. Not the, what I thought we were going to experience for the first time seeing it. Go to that little triangle above the clouds. Yeah. Just on the other side of that, and then you go up straight up the snow. Well, not straight, but up the snow to the summit. Awesome. Yeah. It's really pretty. All right, are we ready for a road trip? Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> they look so harmless back there. Yes, they do. But it's deceiving. <laughs> it's okay. Mia, you're going to be really good, right? Yeah. Okay, well, let's go. Perfect. Let's get you to your house for the night. Okay. Okay. let mom go to the bathroom she hasn't gone to the bathroom since this morning right <laughs> yeah got a problem right we got Nora <laughs> asleep you should turn the light Remy's out he's also asleep oh he is mm. oh yeah turn off some of those turn off Nora's over here it won't go off oh I have to turn, turn mine off anyway Andy's going to the bathroom we've had a dilemma because she has to work in two hours and it's not enough time to get her rental car and back to their Airbnb and have her set up for work and so we're having to send Jason and her friend Rachel to the airport, which is where her rental car is. And then they'll meet us back down at the house once they get their car. So it's kind of a non, it's kind of a convoluted, <laughs> but I'm glad we have two cars so we could send one person to get the car and then I'm going to get Andy set up at the house and then I'll meet Jason back at home and we will take this second car back to our friend's house. So Andy's back in the car now, and we're gonna get back on the road. It's kind of an adventure, huh? Oh. All right, you guys, we made it home. It's very dark. Turn the light on. There's the light. 
um, my jar that I put my water in turned into a pee receptacle <laughs> for my nephew Remy. So I need to wash that now. <sighs> Do I know what time it is, folks? We left here at 6 p.m. Actually, a little before 6 p.m. Let me show you what time it is. Yeah, 12.20. Took a long time. We ended up, I don't know if I've explained this, but I'll do that really quick. Jason's trying to shut everything off, fans and stuff. Um, we kinda had to split and send my sister and me to the house and her friend to the airport. I think I explained this. If so, Dana cut this out. <laughs> And we got halfway through that little split and realized that my sister left her computer that allows her to network into her nursing program um, in the other car, in Jason's car. So we both had to turn around and meet back up halfway from where we were. In the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. In order to meet and get this bag to my sister. Because she was in a time crunch. She had to get to their Airbnb <clears throat> By a certain time in order for her to log into her work and go to work because they were like you cannot call out there's no one to cover so we were on a time crunch I got them to their house that they rented at the same time Jason got the other friend at the airport and Andy got my sister got all of her kids into bed and logged her computer in to work five minutes before she was scheduled to work. So it was kind of a lifesaver. She started crying right near the end and I told her, nope, you gotta like check into your work and we'll get emotional about this tomorrow and figure it out from there. So long day, he literally was home long enough to change his clothes and get in the car with me. So I appreciate you. Yeah. I, I know you're tired. Yeah. He has to go to work in a couple hours. So we're gonna head That's off. That's what you do for family. You do. And I don't ever get to help my family because they don't live here. So I, if Andy, when you're watching this, and I know I'll talk to you before now, this is my way of helping. And it's more than what we talk about here, so. And I got to see Rainier up close again. I haven't been on that side in a while. And I've time. never seen it. Because he it's climbs beautiful. it and I stay at home and we wanted to take the kids over there and now I'm, it's going to be another year because I don't want to make that drive and no, we'll it's a rough that. drive but not when you're going like for fun I know it's a nice drive but it's beautiful it there. was kind of stressful to get up there in time so Plus the other side's more beautiful even I think oh it so. is when you're driving yeah all right you guys we're going to sign off for the night kind of unexpected turn but we wanted to help out family that's what you do take care guys Good night. Bye.